you got banged up shoulders, good chance your shoulder blades don't move very well. So after we've done our soft tissue, mobility work, extensibility work, whatever moniker you like to put into that, let's get into that re-education or activation piece where we teach the muscles to move the joints how they're supposed to. Of course, the brain's going to be driving all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a variation. It's going to be shoulder flexion, protraction, and then upward rotation. Many people think that when the shoulders are rounded like this, we should not be doing protraction, we should be doing retraction. Not necessarily the case. The serratus anterior is an important upward rotator of the scapula, as well as a protractor. So we need to teach protraction and retraction at some point. This particular movement is going to teach us how to protract and upwardly rotate while we're in shoulder flexion. We're going to be doing this standing to minimize the load or resistance that we're going to be using and gravity is going to provide a minimal challenge here. We're going to use a stability ball as well to help us with our tracking and to give us a little bit of feel, a little proprioceptive feedback to help us with our kinesthesia or awareness of ourselves in space. Might even help to get us a little bit more activation here through the top. So the stability ball is helping for a guide as well as to give us some feedback into the nervous system. If you have a significant deficit in range of motion on either side, you might want to modify this a bit, but if you're close to symmetrical movements here, you can use this exercise. If you do have a significant deficit, you can just back off on the range of motion and use this to catch up that tighter side as you move through it. So slow movements under control. I'm going to be using a stability ball here. Core is going to be engaged. Thoracic spine is neutral. Head is long. Extend the elbows, extend the elbows, reach with the fingers, reach with the fingers, reach with the fingers, and then come back down. I'm not leaning my body weight in. If I were just to lean my body weight in, that's going to cause some impingement and jam up my biceps tendon and uh, subacromial bursa in here pretty bad. So I'm not flopping my weight in. I'm using that resistance at the ball at the end to bring me into that upper rotation, glenohumeral joint flexion, and that protraction. So use this gently. All the way up to the top, once you're here, extend the elbows, reach, 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 reach. If you need to use a split stance for control for your clients, that's okay too. Then they can lean in a little bit more. Reach tall, reach tall. As you're doing this, you might feel a little bit of a pull through here. That's the serratus anterior working. It's shortening, it's pulling us into protraction and upward rotation. So might be a little bit of tightness, through the external oblique or through that abdominal um, fascia that we have through here, but if we're doing it well, we're going to get some activation of serratus anterior, which can be challenging to do. So back off if you're asymmetrical significantly and just work through the bottom part of the range of motion to minimize that deficit, but this can be a wonderful part of your corrective exercise routine or even movement prep, especially if you have to, if you have to get into any sort of receiving position or overhead position during your workouts. I'm Eric Beard, thanks for watching.